Howdy, y'all. How y'all doing? So, uh, right now I'm going to rent a H100. See if we can get it to run the Polar Kangaroo. And, uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. So, if you see here, by the way, on Vast, where it shows internet, you see that right there? Zero dollars per terabyte. On the pricier ones, a lot of times they don't charge you, but on these cheaper instances, they'll charge up to $30 per terabyte. So, be mindful of that when you're renting stuff on Vast. It's kind of like a loophole they use to get money out of you. Not Vast themselves, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe the computer people. Anyways, check this out. Okay, so we've got NVIDIA CUDA 1201 on Ubuntu 20.4. It's the developer version. Now, uh, I'm going to open that up in Termius. You can use whatever you like, like Putty or something. And uh, here we go, let's connect. So as you see, I uh, make sure the host name matches and the port number. I already have a key put in there, so you'll, you know, you'll have to do that. There's plenty of tutorials on how to get Vast to work, but uh, yeah, not too bad. All right, all right, all right. Looking good. Let's root on in there. And we're in. So first thing we'll do, of course, is uh, update the system. And well, bam, there we go. Now let's do a little upgrade. Well, bam, there we go. Okay, yeah, not gonna install nano right now. I should have. Always install nano, make sure you got it. It's super, super useful. Anyways, now I'm going to clone my repository, which is basically just a fork of the Jean Luc Pons Polar Kangaroo. I named it uh, Kangaroo 2. And I'm Momofuku. M O M O F U K K U. So we clone that repository real quick. And here I go. I, I forget to uh, change into the proper directory here. I'm doing a voiceover actually because when I did this, I had uh, some copyrighted music playing. And uh, yeah. So you're getting a voiceover. Watch that fail. There we go. Now let me CD into kangaroo 2 man I'm going slow alright there we are so now that we're in the directory we're going to make make it uh, see there I got the CCAP at 90 that's set for the H100 uh, set it to 86 for a 3090 okay built. Now let's uh, give it a little test. Huh? So I didn't mess with grid size or saving or any of that. Just uh, just just running it. And my in.txt, uh, I actually changed it to be puzzle 130. Uh, I think normally it's set to puzzle 32. It solves it in like a minute. Does it pretty quickly. Actually, I think some of the small, the smaller ones uh, are good tests. So you, you might want to go in and change your in.txt if you want to try something smaller, see how it just works, benchmark it. A lot of tweaking you'll have to do with this to get it uh, optimized. Obviously with the grid size and uh, all that good stuff. Now this will take a little bit. But uh, as you see, we are running on Ubuntu, I think, what, 20.4? And rather than using the G++ 4.8, we're using, I don't know, whatever's current. 
pretty handy because before you had to use uh, Ubuntu 16 and you know a bunch of older stuff that was a little hard to actually get a hold of and also when you pull those docker images a lot of times it takes forever or they don't even have them on some of them like I couldn't find it so now we got it running on some of the newer stuff all that is is a, a modified make file on my github under the Momofuku kangaroo 2 that should get you rocking anyways there we go as you see it would take forever still to hit the 130 puzzle <laughs> now let's see what we do next I'll tell you what it's weird doing voiceovers I am not a fan but I hope this helps y'all you know maybe somebody can figure out how to get this to you know, take it to the next level all right anyway so now we're going to nano into the make file I'm just going to show you where we can uh, modify it if you wanted to uh, you know, use something other than the H100. You see, I, I forgot Nano. Man, and I forgot my A. It's alright. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm also coming down with a little cold right now, guys. Uh, let me just scroll to the bottom here real quick. Just let y'all have a peek at what you need to modify if you want to use something else. Here we go. Now on these bottom lines here, towards the right, one second I'll figure out I can use my mouse to show you. Uh, there it is, okay. See where it says Compute 90? Uh, and then what's that? Code something, SM90? You'll want to change that to 80 if you're using uh, like any of the RTX line. Pretty much everything, almost anything worth using, you're gonna want to put in 80 there. I just made it 90 so it'll be compatible with the uh, H100. And furthermore, guys, I'm not recommending using the H100s for this. They're still a little bit pricey, and it's, it's quite infeasible that you'll actually find anything while doing this. But it's 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 a fun little experiment. Now, as you see here, the CCAP here is 90. When you go to build the program, you'll want to make it 86 for a 3090, or I think a 4090 as well. If you want to, you know, go all out, you can use the uh, newer stuff, keep it set at 90. Well, bam. There we go, guys. Anyways, I, I hope this helped y'all. And if you got any questions or comments, let me know. And if y'all improve on it, more importantly than anything, if anybody figures out any, like, breakthroughs here, you know, like, playing around with some good settings, share it. Don't be scared to share, guys. We're a team. You know, I swear, it's not just about making cryptocurrency or any of that, you know? It's in the spirit of good fun and protecting the blockchain and, uh, you know, just doing our best. You gotta poke at it, you know? The only way it's gonna be strong is by testing it. But always share your work. Always be transparent what you're doing, guys. Best wishes. Peace.